Hey folks, so this video is going to help you understand the workflow that we are going to use for like the next handful of weeks. Um, it's super reasonable, easy to do, and I'm hoping that it's actually a little fun. So this is what it's going to look like, okay? So the first thing to keep in mind is that the workflow starts with homework. So Let's just say, for example, that on Thursday, October, for, by Thursday, October 1st, we will have read Addressing Disability as a Part of Diversity, right? So this is a peer-reviewed article on how people with disabilities tend to be represented in children's popular culture, okay? And we're going to do the active reading model on it, right? Just we've already practiced that. All right, so what happens when you get to class? The first thing that actually happens when you get to class is what you're gonna do is you're gonna start every day. So if you read something about disability, that means that the videos that you're watching in class that day have to do with disability. And so I have picked five different films. They're all on the short side, some are longer than others. Um, and you're just gonna pick uh, from the list. Some of you might wanna watch all five. If that's your jam, that's super fine. So you're just gonna, a lot of these are on YouTube. Um, and you're just going to click on them and be like, cool, I'm going to watch this little clip of Mushroom and, and the Forest of the World, right? Or I'm going to watch Disney Pixar's Loop, you know? So you're going to watch those films. And as you're watching those films, I want you to have a pen in hand. And what I want you to do is just take notes. Um, so make sure you just write down which ones you watched. And then just take some notes to yourself and be like, wow, this reminds me of what um, we read for homework about how people with disabilities tend to rep be represented. There are usually one of two ways you're going to see these connections. You're either going to see these connections because you're seeing people do the same things and it's not great. Or you can be like, wow, you know, this is a common critique of how we tend to represent people with disabilities. But this, this, this piece is doing something entirely different. And it's super awesome that they're actually challenging this really kind of low hanging fruit way that people with disabilities tend to be represented. Does that make sense? So then you're going to just sort of take those notes, watch them with a pen in hand, take some notes for yourself, unless you just want to type out your notes, it's your, you do whatever you want, right? All right, so there's that. The other thing that, just to keep in mind, um, the videos that I pick for a daily basis, they fit a theme, but it doesn't mean that's the only theme that that thing fits, okay? So just sort of keep that in mind. There are potentially other ways that these films line up with other themes we might be talking about later on in the class, right? Because people are complex, they're not just one aspect of their identity, right? So once you've watched three, at least three of these things and taken notes on it, you're going to reflect on what you shared. So the first bit is just really take a moment to reflect on the piece that you read for homework and then ask yourself these questions about the, the films that you watched, all right? And then what I want you to do is I want you to just take a moment to write down your thoughts, but I want you to actually just focus on one of the particular films that you watched, okay? Um, or uh, if you don't wanna focus on a particular film, you could focus on a particular question asked above. Like for instance, um, is the character with a disability depicted as a burden or friendless? And you might be like, okay, I'm going to focus on this question and how the different films that I watched are, are the people friendless. Um, so for instance, you might be like, you know what, like I'm noticing in loop that the person who is autistic is kind of represented as like friendless. Um, and so is the person in the present. Um, but that in Mushroom and the Forest uh, of the World, that this one has, this, this person has a disability, but also has a ton of friends. Um, and maybe this stereotype is still happening where we're representing people with disabilities as kind of like loners or are people no one wants to hang out with, which is really kind of ableist, right? So anyway. So that's, you can do it one of two ways. You can like answer those questions, kind of reflect on all of those questions and how to answer those within a particular film or how you're picking a particular question from above and applying them across the different films that you watched. Okay, so you can take either one of those approaches. And remember that this is just a free write, okay? So you're just gonna write a one paragraph um, that's like five to six sentences. This is not huge, okay? Um, and I really want you to write in a conversational tone, okay? 
um, and just really home in on one or two of your biggest takeaways. And yeah, if possible, what I would like you to do is reference one idea in the article that you read for homework, right, with one particular page number. Like this reminds me of the thing that um, Horn and Nasatir talk about on page 40, right? And I'm seeing that cut across a couple of these videos, or I'm seeing it specifically in this video and I want to talk about it, right? So that's it, okay? Then you're going to go to uh, Slack, there's always a, a channel, and you're just going to copy and paste your one paragraph reflection on uh, what you read for homework and what you watched during class and how that it, how you're making connections between those two things. And then once you've done that, you're just going to read and respond to at least two of your peers reflections, right, and have a conversation. Obviously, in terms of this workflow, if you need a refresher on civility, definitely check out the syllabus. You might be watching um, a video that maybe challenges something for you that produces some sort of cognitive dissonance. So don't be a jerk, right? Like if you watch something about, um, uh, I don't know, a person with a disability, don't make fun of people with disabilities. Who does that? Come on, it's 2020. The same thing with we're talking about orientation or we're talking about race or body size, whatever it is that we're talking about, just don't be a jerk. That's it, right? Because if you're a jerk, you're not gonna get the points, friends. So that's it. This is the workflow.